I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you my experience of setting test paper and guiding my students to do just the right thing before the test. You will notice that this test paper is Chapter 5 Rational Functions MHF4U dated November 10, 2015. Now most of the questions in this test paper are from my videos and you will be amazed to see that the thinking problems in this test paper are the ones of the videos which I loaded just before the test. So have a good look at this test paper. You'll find these videos as a part of my contribution for you to learn and experience. Now that's the back side of this thinking problems, right? So these two questions are also there in my videos. The second question here is the one which I uploaded just before the test. And these things help for students to get good marks. These are a few more questions from the same test paper. That football booster visa question is the one which came last year, which is also part of my test videos. And what I'm going to discuss with you is a question from this test paper itself, uh, which I think is fundamental and should be there in the set of my questions. So, so this one, which is reciprocal of a linear function, is the question which we are going to discuss now from this test paper. So, question before us is, linear function f of x is increasing for x belongs to real numbers. Will the reciprocal function be increasing or decreasing? Will there be any horizontal asymptote for the function? If so, where? Will there be any horizontal asymptote for the reciprocal function? If so, where? Will there be any vertical asymptote for reciprocal function? If so, where? Graph linear function and its reciprocal to justify your answer. Now, this is a very basic question which is on reciprocal functions. Let's discuss it. Now, so we are talking about a linear function which is increasing for x belongs to real numbers. So we could draw any line like this, correct? So that line is a linear function which is increasing, correct? Now as you can see, it has an x-intercept, right, and a y-intercept right there. Now let's answer these questions one by one. First one is, will the reciprocal function be increasing or decreasing? Well, if the function is increasing, then the reciprocal should be decreasing, right? So let me define my reciprocal function r of x as equals to 1 over f of x, correct? Now if f of x is increasing as we move from left to right, r of x should be decreasing, correct? So the first answer is decreasing. Now, will there be any horizontal asymptote for the function? Well, as far as the function is concerned, as x approaches negative infinity, function approaches negative infinity. As x approaches positive infinity, function approaches positive infinity. So there is no question of any asymptote at this point, right? So the answer is no for it, for the function, right? Part C is, will there be any horizontal asymptote for the reciprocal function? If so, where? Now we are talking about reciprocal function and horizontal asymptote, right? Now, if the function is approaching negative infinity, then 1 over negative infinity is what? Is close to? Is close to 0, right? So we are approaching, but we are never there. Since we can, can never approach infinity, we can never approach 1 over infinity, which is equal to almost 0, right? So here, we do have a horizontal asymptote, right? As we are approaching positive infinity, 1 over positive infinity is very close to 0. So we are approaching 0. We are never there. Since we are approaching, there exists a horizontal asymptote, right? So there exists a horizontal asymptote. If so, where? It is along the x-axis, whose equation is y equals to 0. So that is our horizontal asymptote. Perfect. D is, will there be any vertical asymptote for the reciprocal function? Now the x-intercepts translate to the vertical asymptote. So there will be a vertical asymptote at the x-intercept. So in this case, let us say this is my x-intercept. So that gives me the vertical asymptote, right? 
so the vertical asymptote will be at x intercept of the function so we can write down yes there will be and that will be at x intercept of the function f of x now the last question is graph linear function and its reciprocal to justify your answers so let's graph it now so we have already drawn the vertical asymptote which is corresponding to the x intercept of the function and now what we can do is we can actually sketch the function itself <coughs> the reciprocal function now let us say this value is some value let us say b right what is reciprocal of p? 1 over p. So this point will get translated to 1 over p. And if there is a value which is, let us say, 1, let us say, we let's assume few values to sketch our graph, right? So let's say this is a graph paper where this is 1, right? So in that case, we'll get a point 1 here, which will be called invariant point. And let's also consider a point where the function is minus 1. That means this particular point. This is also invariant point. It will be common in both the functions, right? Now, as the value of the function increases higher and higher, the value of the function, which is the reciprocal function for us, decreases. And it will approach x equals to 0, y equals to 0, as x approaches infinity. As the function increases from 1 to higher values, then the reciprocal decreases towards 0. But when the function is between 0 to 1, at that time, the reciprocal will be higher. So it approaches infinity as the function approaches 0. So this is the part which you see on the right side. On the left side, it will be kind of similar, which let me draw like this. And the invariant points will be where the function has 1 or minus 1 as its value. You can see if the reciprocal reciprocal is positive when the function is positive but if the function is increasing the reciprocal is decreasing so we are decreasing from almost zero to a negative high value in the first half and after the y-intercept we the value of reciprocal function is decreasing from high positive value to zero so it is always decreasing in its domain and you will notice that the domain will not include the the x-intercept of the function, right? So that will be x equals to, let's say this is a, the point is a, then in that case x equals to a will be the vertical asymptote as shown here. I hope with this you understand how to draw a reciprocal of the very basic function a line and understand the concept that increasing intervals translates to decreasing for reciprocal Horizontal asymptotes are not there for the function, but it could be there for the reciprocal function. Since infinity, when we do reciprocal of that, it is approaching zero, right? Approaching infinity for the function is same as approaching zero for the reciprocal. And the x-intercepts for the function translates to vertical asymptotes for the reciprocal function. I hope with that reciprocal of a function is absolutely clear to you. Thank you and all the best.